Hey guys, I want to share this wonderful tool with you guys. Um, I have no affiliation with them. I, I don't make money off this. I just, I thought it's so useful for me. I use it every day and I thought I would take some of the intimidation factor out of it for other people that might be thinking about using it. Um, I honestly cannot recommend this enough for anything graphic design related. You could use it in your home life or you can use it if you want to create any type of social media pins or banners, ads, anything like that. You can even actually design a logo. I haven't done that myself, but I've heard you can do it with this tool. And I believe it because this thing will do just about anything. So if we go into create a design, sorry, I should tell you the site is canva.com and it's all online. You just have to set up an account. But once you get in there, you can, it gives you some pre- pre-filled template ideas for what you might want to do. Um, and what this, what choosing one of these dictates basically is the size. So that's an important piece just because to resize you actually, I think you have to upgrade. Um, you can do custom dimensions, but it won't come with a template version. So I recommend find something that's close enough to the size. You can always go back in and maybe resize it after the fact with like a different Photoshop program. Um, but this is just how I do it. I, I do need to recreate a, a Pinterest pin for one of my posts that was a Valentine post and it's no longer Valentine's Day. So I want to do, I just going to repurpose that for like an anniversary post. So instead of using the Pinterest graphic, because the size on that is actually a little bit wonky. And I've been told that that is no longer the Pinterest size that people, that Pinterest wants. Um, they actually want 500 by 900 is what I read somewhere. So I. I go for the closest size. So this one is 540 by 810, but that'll work. So I just take the Tumblr graphic. And once I pick that, you can see I have my editing window here on the right-hand side. I have all of my elements and templates on the left-hand side. And I really encourage you to just play around with this because you'll get a feel for it really quickly. Um, obviously, you can start scrolling through templates, but just to walk you through, you also have elements. So they've they add things all the time. They've just added these charts and um, thousands, millions, probably images that you can pull from that are free. Or if you find one that you love that has a watermark, it's usually about a dollar to pay for it. That's kind of cool. It's just a little record player. But um, yeah, so if I, let's just say I was searching for hearts, just to give you a, an example. So some of these are going to be free. So I can use any of those and you, you would just pull them. Oh, obviously can't see it because it's white. Um, just pull them in. But you can also pay. So if I wanted to get this one that has a watermark on it, to remove the watermark is a dollar. So most everything is about a dollar. Um, you can also purchase like an upgraded package, which gives you access to a lot more things. Um, I find for the free version, I, I pretty much can find anything I want. So I haven't upgraded yet, but that doesn't mean that I won't at some point. Um, all right, we're just going to create a very quick pin just to show you how fast this can be done. So my, like I mentioned, my uh, original pin was Valentine's Day, but we're going to make it still like an anniversary theme. So it will be like a love, love theme. Um, I usually like to do a box so that you can see the font kind of like this one. Um, you can change everything about this. So you can change the color, you can change the transparency, you can change the font size. So don't be too picky about what you pick because you're probably going to customize it anyways. Um, but I'm going to pick this one. If you did want to switch it out, all you have to do is click. So, and you can see like this one has a watermark. Again, it's a dollar if I wanted to buy that, that map background, but we're going to go with this one. And, um, to find a background, you can go into your background option, which will put that watery background behind the flowers. I'm actually going to look for a picture. So I'm just going to do love and find something that I like. We could even do like these hearts, although you can't really, you can't really see them very well. So Let's see, I don't have to be too particular here. Even these little mints. It's probably pretty good. Okay. 
And then as I mentioned, we can, so we can change the color of our background. We can also change the transparency. Let's go for something just a little bit more colorful. And then let's make that you just want to be able to see the background, but then also be able to clearly see your font. Um, sometimes you have to ungroup things. So you'll see like with fonts and stuff, sometimes they're all together as a set and you just have to go up here and ungroup, but they're not grouped right now. So I don't have to worry about that, but we're going to stretch our box a little bit. And again, some of these things are just a little fussy, like moving your font around can be challenging, but you'll get the hang of it and it it's pretty easy once you have done it once or twice. So changing the text color, just come up to text color. I'm going to make that white and I'm going to put, uh, probably going to make it smaller because we're going to have to fit a lot of, a lot of big words in here. So great. Oops. Just click on it. Great. Anniversary. Gifts. It's going to be found on Amazon on, okay. And so we're going to want to change, probably change this font. There's so many fonts to choose from. You could, you could actually get so carried away with all of the cool options they have, but I find simple and just legible is really important. Okay, so then we can play with the spacing as well. So if we come in here, we can pull those out a little and then we're definitely gonna wanna make them a little higher. So there, you just want people to be able to read this real easily. With that in mind, I think I actually might, I'm gonna change the spot color too. Uh, I don't like that. That's too dull. Let's make it, actually, let's make it like a gray. All right, and then just, you can just drag. Sometimes the, like I said, the font is the, probably the trickiest thing just to grab it in the right place. And you can see it, it creates these little lines, which is really helpful. It, it tells you where you're aligning things. So you want it kind of middle, middle aligned and just move these things down. Just move it how you like it. So you don't have to copy anything I'm doing, obviously. Uh, 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 I'm gonna make this font just a bit bigger. Problem is I didn't want that anniversary, such a big word to go to two lines. So we're gonna squish it together. That looks pretty decent. All right. And you can play and adjust this stuff for, you know, as long as you need to. But as you can see, it didn't take us long to create a really nice pin. And if I wanted to change any of this, you can even just, just drag things in. You can just see what it looks like. You don't have to drop it. But you know, if I didn't like the mints, I could change that to something else. Oh. Uh, there's an undo button. Uh, oops. All right. That. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to drop another picture in there. I don't know what I did, but I had too many things going on there. Okay. So, so hopefully this gives you a good idea of what you can do. Uh, when you're done, you can just download it. It's free. Um, you can do, I usually do JPEG for Pinterest just because it's smaller, but that's it. And then you just hit download. That's it. So easy. All right, I hope this was helpful and let me know if you have questions. I'd be happy to help people if they have any issues that they run into. All right, thanks, bye.